I am going to take this across. Uh, firstly, to uh, Satabish. Satabish, quite a lot of developments as far as from the Congress party. On one hand, the chief minister has said that probably it was Mr. Deve Gowda who helped him flee the country. On the other, Mr. D.K. Shukumar says that the Congress had no role to play as far as, uh, you know, how the video got leaked. On the other hand, you also have the BJP today come out. Mr. R. Ashok, the leader of the opposition, went ahead and said, well, Prajwal Revarna is still an MP born out of the coalition of the BJP and, I beg your pardon, of the Congress and the JDS in 2019. The fact of the matter today remains that Mr. Prajwal Revarna is an absconding MP. He is attempting to flee the arms of the law. He is attempting to flee justice. Background the core, I am sorry. The core of the issue remains that this act is a vicious, demonic and barbaric act involving thousands of videos and includes hundreds of women. It is no longer an individualistic act of cultural deviance. Rather, a classic case of abuse of power and misuse of position to exploit the downtrodden. The stand of the Congress government today is clear. We have FIR emerged on the 28th. A special investigation team has been constituted on the very same day. Now, it is the role of the special investigation team not only to bring the perpetrators of the crime to justice, rather protect the dignity of the victims and also make attempts to rehabilitate them. We are doing everything in our possibility to ensure that this man is put behind bars. And, and it is an admitted fact that these videos exist. What was the need for obtaining a, an order of temporary injunction if these videos didn't exist at all? It is an admitted fact that these videos exist. And today the CM has come out and he's requesting the Honorable uh, Central Government and the Honorable Prime Minister to act in coordination with the state government and he's requesting that he deploys diplomatic channels to ensure that the passport, which allegedly is a diplomatic passport, that it should be revoked and that he should be brought back to Bangalore immediately. And what, what does Prajwal Reva mean by truth will prevail? Truth will only prevail if you participate in a transparent manner in the investigation. And I, I've been hearing a lot of these uh, conspiracy theories being hatched by the Bharatiya Janta Party who make allegations against the Congress, stating that it is us who reveal the videos or us who is circulating the videos. This is absolutely baseless and this is absolutely false. If it was really in our power to circular, circulate these videos, we would have done so when Mr. Prajwal Reva now was sharing the dais with Prime Minister Modi and Mr. Modi was seeking votes in favor of this uh, culprit, this vicious demon. And what is the BJP doing on the contrary? Mr. Devraje Gowda, that advocate or a party functionary of the Bharatiya Janta Party, he was in possession of these okay. videos all along. He has never brought them to the uh, law enforcement okay. agency. Satabish, Rather, Satabish, he was using it there, as a There is gun. no doubt this is, the, if, if this is true, okay, Satabish, there's no doubt if this is true, this is a heinous act. Uh, you know, yes. the guilty has to be booked. And, and there are no two ways about it and there's no two ways to look at it. But I have a few questions because, you know, more and more this is becoming political. So we'll have to look at some spectrums of that as well. Now, one is on now you, you, there are narratives that he fled from, you know, Bengaluru. He flew abroad. The question here that the BJP one that they have raised is that, you know, he's moved from Hassan all the way to the airport. If there was an intention to go ahead with the SIT, there would have been talks about it. The authorities would have been aware of these videos in circulation. So why wasn't there an attempt to stop him or stall him? His movement from Bengaluru, this is of course, the onus lies on the state police. The second See, aspect that comes into the picture is, the FR was not even registered when he actually left the country. So again, if you keep questioning the BJP at the center saying, well, they allow him, the immigration process comes under them, the passport comes under them, visa process comes under them. Well, now, if there is no SIT, if there is no FIR, when, how does this aspect come into the picture is the question. See, firstly, the FIR, as you rightly pointed out, was uh, emerged on the 28th of April. And Mr. Prajwal Revana has fled the country on the 27th. Now, we are not blaming the central government saying that you allowed him to escape. Rather, we are seeking the central government's cooperation in ensuring that here is a man who is alleged of uh, uh, committing a horrific crime, 
Therefore, but Satya, acting now when coordination the question comes with to us, you're but multiple leaders of yours did say that the center no, no, helped him escape. He fled the country. This was a statement that came there, from there are, the Congress parties. See, at the moment, the there is there is this person who has committed a horrific crime, who has fled the country, and he's attempting to uh, get away from the arms of law, and he's attempting to flee justice. We are requesting. central government to come in support of the congress government cancel his diplomatic passport and bring him back to the country subject him to the special investigation team let the truth come out if uh, you please ask them are they willing to take enough and more measures okay, Prashant, to ensure that his passport Prashant, is immediately revoked if they Prashant, say yes the congress is putting the ball on the bjp court and saying will the center really come in here deepak see it's become fashionable for congress to try to blame center or Question sent for everything. He goes outside of uh, India on twenty seventh April, when probably Congress was aware that something like this has happened. The Congress leaders were aware. They did nothing, and nothing is called. No inquiry commission is constituted. S A S A T is not constituted, and he leaves India in a normal manner. And now Congress comes back and says the large F I R on twenty eighth, and stating that he should not have uh, gone on a diplomatic passport. He is still the sitting MP. Therefore, if he has a diplomatic passport, he will travel with it. On what count so today, can the Congress Bharat say that BJP is letting is go? This has been the Congress justifying double standards exposed here, stating that there, there, the Congress leaders have been making statements in the last two days saying that BJP has let them uh, go out of the country, and Sidramaya says they were going to let him go. Was where was the SIT even constituted or FIR lodged on twenty seventh when he left the country? If if Congress was aware that. Such a thing is there because if Congress has distributed the pen drives, they are aware that such a thing is there. They should have arrested Prajwal Ravana much before 27th, on 26th or 25th or whenever it came to light. They never did any of those things. They waited for the elections to get over and then tried to use it politically. This is actually shameful on the Congress part. They have brought victims to the forefront. They have uh, what is shared that videos and now they are publicly shaming the victims there. This should not be done. And in so far as BJP is concerned, we will never stand with any person, irrespective of which party they belong to, anybody who offends women or talks ill of uh, women. And especially it comes to dignity of women, BJP would be at the forefront to protect our women because we always stand for Nari Shakti and Matru Shakti. Because even in Sandesh Kali, BJP was the one who had to uh, use uh, the, all the uh, legal procedures to ensure that victims there get justice. Okay. When TMC was not even okay, uh, doing I'll, anything. I, we have a.